Okay, so in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to explore the means by which uh, typographic elements can sort of carry a mood and a feeling in a project. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a photograph and we're going to write that word, the word that is the photo. We're going to match the typeface to the look and feel of the photo. So we're going to jump over into Pixlr and we're going to create a new full HD template. We're going to call it Everest and we're going to click create. So that's going to give us a blank canvas like so. Notice right here, I have a minimized the history panel just because I don't think we really use it much. And then layer one, what we're going to do is take our paint bucket and we're going to fill it in with the color black, like so. The next step is going to involve creating the or pressing the plus button right here. There's a number of different ways we can do this, but this is one. We're going to add a text layer and we're going to write the word Everest, like so. And we're going to change the color to white and we're going to make it uh, size 350. By default, it'll probably be set to 80, um, but we're going to change it to 350. And then what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the letter spacing to uh, 15. And that's just going to let the sort of the, the letters breathe a little bit, give it a little bit of space. Notice the text box we're going to have to adjust as well. I'm going to make it the full width of our canvas, like so. And get that stuck back over there. And since the text is centered, it should always sort of find its way through the middle. And we're going to use our smart guides in order to line this thing up uh, horizontally and vertically like so. But then we're going to change the font because this doesn't really look like Mount Everest, the largest uh, you know, mountain in the world. And for reference, we're going to use this image from Pixabay of Mount Everest. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose a font that is a big and bold one called Hippo Leto down in the H's like so. Again, we're going to have our uh, letter spacing or tracking set to 15. And the next thing that we're going to do is go back to Pixabay over here. We're going to copy this image. And in Pixlr, we're going to go to Edit Paste, where we can press Control or Command V, depending upon what type of system you are on. Uh, so what you're going to see is that we have this image sort of floating on the top right here. And we're going to use a, a blend mode trick in order to get um, this to sort of only overlay on the white text beneath it. So in order to do that, we're going to take the Arrange tool uh, or this is like the move selection tool. I'm going to resize this so it's bigger than the text. And then you can see if I click on the settings button right here of the layer, I can change my blend mode from none to multiply. So you can see that now it fits uh, just inside the letters below it. And what's cool is this is uh, non-destructive editing, and so this is still live, and I can reposition this to fit so that both of the peaks fit in the letters. Now, as a sort of added little thing, what we're going to do is duplicate the Everest text layer. We're going to turn off the bottom one, and then on this top one, Everest copy, notice the check mark that's turned off. This top one, um, I'm going to go to layer and I'm going to rasterize this. So this is no longer a text layer anymore. So I can't grab the type tool and sort of change the letters. It's just sort of like static pixels. But it will allow me to check the free transform option right here. Now I can stretch this thing really tall and imposing like Mount Everest. I'll then have to come in and resize the photo so that it still covers the entirety of it like so. That's relatively simple to do. I'm going to position it so that the peaks are uh, right there. And then I'm just going to make sure that this is exactly in the center like so. And now we can go ahead and save this as a JPEG and call it a day. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, basically, again, as Reminder, we found a typeface that matched the subject matter uh, of the photograph and sort of embedded it within the letter forms themselves. Thanks for watching and best of luck.